today we are doing a Trezor unboxing event. Uh, this is the Trezor Model T uh, cryptocurrency wallet. They store a whole bunch of cryptocurrencies within them. So anyway, let's get into the unboxing event. So like any other uh, MacGyver women out there, can't go wrong with a bobby pin. Um, okay, <laughs> so here we go. Taking off. Ooh. Goodbye cellophane, okay. Uh, so as we open the box, there she is, the Trezor. Uh, now I've had some, I've read some feedback on the Trezor device comparing it to the Ledger and that saying, you know, it seems uh, a little bit more flimsy. It's plastic. It, it doesn't seem as like robust of a hardware wallet device itself compared to Ledger. But anyway, oh guys, it's attached to the box via magnets. <laughs> okay, anyway, you guys don't care. Um, so here in the box it says, get started. Connect Trezor to your computer or smartphone. Open Trezor.io to start, uh, Trezor.io slash start in your web browser. Follow instructions and sleep tight. It says here, also bonus, place the magnetic dock anywhere to hold your device. I don't know why you'd want to stick it anywhere like on your, don't be sticking this on your uh, <laughs> refrigerator or anything like that. Definitely store this in a very private, secure manner. As always, whenever you're dealing with cryptocurrencies and the private keys are in your control, you want to do that as securely as possible. I'm looking in here, maybe, okay, so that's not, again, I'm so used to Ledger, I am very used to the uh, seed phrase um, cards to be readily available. But here we go, there's another black box that came in here. And what we have in here, okay, we have, Ooh, stickers for those of you who want to announce exactly how you're storing your hardware wallets <laughs> you can put treasure everywhere okay so this is their paperwork that they offer for your seed phrase and then on the back here here we go your personal recovery seed do not disclose this seed to anybody even if they are claiming to be from treasure from anywhere no legitimate source ever will ever ask you to give them your seed phrase. If someone is asking that, they are a scammer and run away. It says here, the, seed, the recovery seed is a backup of all your keys. Having access to this backup determines who controls the associated assets. That's why you never give this information away to anybody. Never enter your seed on websites or apps. These are common scams and you risk losing your funds. You should always keep your recovery seed offline, secret, and accessible. Um, they also give you the option to write down your pin code there on the bottom as well. I don't know that I would ever store your pin code and your recovery seed uh, together. I think separation is really important on this. Um, okay, it says warning, only enter seed using the device's touch screen. Do not use unless instructed by the device. Do not make digital copies of the seed. Digital copies means taking a photo with your phone on, uh, of your seed phrase, typing it into your email or uh, your notepad or uh, any way storing this on a device at all that could ever be uh, transmitted on the internet digitally. Don't do it. You need old fashioned pen and paper here. Oh, they actually give you two of these cards to write it down so you can again store them separately, equally, separately and securely. Um, so in case maybe hopefully you don't lose one, uh, but yeah, you can always have access to it. Also in this black box comes the cord, the official cord to connect your Trezor to your computer through uh, a USB, uh, attachment and a looks like a Thunderbolt C attachment as well. Um, with Ledger, I found that if I am 
if I'm having trouble connecting the device to my actual computer, nine times out of 10, it's because I'm not using the official ledger cord that was provided to me with the, with the device. Um, also, what could happen is if you're using an adapter for the USB onto your computer, if you have a MacBook, for example, um, perhaps that uh, a converter could be faulty and the connection could not be actually made that way. Okay, so the step one here for us to get this started, they said to go to trezor.io and on this website, you can go ahead and, and click, once you've already purchased it and you have it in your possession, the device, go to I already own a Trezor link here. It's going to take you to suite.trezor.io slash start. And we can go ahead and uh, launch the desktop app which is how you will be interacting with this device and the cryptocurrencies that you will be storing on it. This will be the interface. Okay, so now we have my cord plugged into my computer and important to reference here probably is the seal that we see on the device. There's a seal here that ensures, uh, gives you some peace of mind that this is, you know, factory sealed device. And <laughs> love to peel this off without it leaving a huge residue all over the device, but I don't think that's gonna happen. Does that happen to anyone else's treasure? Or just me. <laughs> uh, okay, anyway, uh, it is what it is. So go ahead and plug this in and make sure it's all the way plugged in when you hear a click, like that. And we are met with a screen. It's giving me all sorts of messages. It says, welcome, go to trezor.io to start. And I've already downloaded the app from that website. Um, and here now it is detected here, Trezor detected. Uh, anonymous data collection, all data is anonymous and is used for product development purposes. What data do we collect? Do I have to allow this? I don't want to confirm. Security check, my hologram was intact and untempered with. True. I bought from the official shop or a trusted reseller. True. Package wasn't tempered, tampered with. True. Set up Trezor. It says it takes five minutes. Here it's saying install firmware. Um, your Trezor is shipped without any firmware, so you can install the latest version directly by clicking the button below. When your device starts up, it will confirm that the firmware is authentic or display a warning. So this is really important because then if you have a Trezor and it already has the firmware uh, downloaded onto it, that is a huge red flag. And also this ensures that you're downloading the latest firmware that is the most secure. Any issues that have been identified in the past have been remedied by this point. So uh, this version at the time of recording is 2.4.3. I'm gonna go ahead and see what it says. Okay, so it shows you what the version, um, the additions of it are. Supports Taproot, that's cool. That's the latest upgrade for Bitcoin. Shows address confirmation in sign message. Support for advanced Cardano transactions and different dev dev derivations for compatibility. Also, Ethereum support for EIP 712 signing typed data. Cool. Go ahead and install the firmware. Hopefully that does not take too long. We're getting there. Uh, so here on the device, it says it is indeed installing the firmware. Okay. Now it is restarting the Trezor. It says re uh, done restarting in one second. So now my Trezor is off. Now it says processing. One second left, done. Okay, now it says go to, uh, so here in the app we'll sit, hit, we will hit continue. Um, and because I am setting this up as a new device, I will be saying selecting create new wallet. Now for those of you, maybe you already had a Trezor and you want to import uh, what was on there, let's say you lost your device, but you still have your seed phrase. You can choose this option, the recover wallet option, and then input your seed phrase and then access your wallets that way. But this one, we're gonna do create a new wallet. Um, so here, choose how to back up your Trezor. This process will also create a standard wallet for you. Uh, so we're gonna stick with the standard seed phrase here. 
Now we will look to our Trezor device on the app on my computer screen. It says confirm on Trezor wallet backup. Choose how to back up your Trezor. This process will also create a standard wallet for you. Again, on the device, I'm going to confirm that I want to use do so by using the seed phrase. Do you want to create a new wallet by continuing? You agree. So I, it's a touch screen. So I'm going to go ahead. It's a touch screen. So I'm going to have to uh, hit the check mark, mark, check mark, check mark to confirm that is what I want to do. Create a new wallet needs backup. My device says I need a backup. So I'm going to go ahead and it says it here on the app as well. Um, your wallet is almost ready. You've successfully set up your Trezor and created your wallet. You should never use your Trezor without backing it up. It is the only way to recover a lost wallet. Again, they are referring to the seed phrase. That is your private key. So go ahead and create backup. Um, it says your Trezor will generate a list of words which you need to write down. This information is the most important part of securing your Trezor. It is the only offline backup of your Trezor and all wallets associated with it. It's very important. These words will be displayed on the hardware wallet device itself not on the application, not on a website, nothing connected to the Wi-Fi. So go ahead and use one of these papers that they provided or uh, if you have something more secure that you can use to uh, secure this uh, seed phrase, for example, crypto steel is a really cool uh, tool, a bit on the pricey side, but is a far more permanent way to secure your private keys using etched metal rather than paper. Uh, you can also laminate this that can help bring it some more lo longevity and sure it's not going to get wet, moldy, uh, disintegrated in any way, uh, especially if you're planning on keeping this for years to come. So check your backup in device settings before sending money to the wallet. Never take a photo or make a digital copy of the backup. Again, already went over that. And it also says keep your backup secured and never share it with anyone. Done and done. Click to confirm you understand the instructions below. I gotta check these. Yes, yes, yes. Begin backup. Uh, your Trezor will generate a list of words which you will need to write down. This information is the most important part of securing your Trezor. It is the only offline backup, backup of your Trezor and all wallets associated with it. So on the uh, device itself, again, it's making me understand, making me confirm that I understand never to make a digital copy and here are the words that I'm not going to give you, but I am going to write down. So bear with me. It's very important that you write these words in the order they are displayed on the device and that you are spelling them correctly. Very important. If you don't write them in the right order, if you're misspelling the words, you might as well not write it down at all because this needs to be precise. As you move through the list, you can swipe on your device to see more words on the list. Okay, now once you're done writing them down on the device, it says I wrote down all 12 words in order. Hold to confirm. Okay, now you're gonna prove that you wrote these words in the correct order. Your device is going to ask you to select for example, mine saying select word two of 12. So then within the list of words they have uh, presented to me, again, I'm not going to show you this, uh, the words that are showing, but according to my list, the word that I wrote down for number two is that one. <laughs> and we're going to go through like this a few times again, just to make sure that you have the right order, the right words and all of that fun stuff. Okay. You have finished verifying your recovery seed. Woohoo. Okay, hit continue. Says your backup is done. Use your backup when you need to recover your wallet. Again, when we first started this process, I had the choice of creating a new wallet or importing a previously existing one. If you ever wanted to import this, the coins that you are eventually going to be storing on this device onto a new one, you can do so using your uh, recovery phrase or your mnemonic phrase, your seed phrase, your private key. It's all the same thing here. Now it's reminding me that my pin is not set. I highly recommend you set a pin code, uh, as much layers of security as you can for your hardware wallet. I highly recommend you do so. So on the application here, it's saying, uh, if you copy down your backup, your Trezor is almost done. Do not lose your backup or your funds will be inaccessible. If you lose it, 
no one can recover it for you. If someone else finds it, they can definitely spend your coins. Um, there is no way to recover a lost backup. That's encryption for you. It's incredibly secure and you can't break it. Uh, so here, continue to pin. Now we will set a pin. It says using a strong pin protects your treasure from unauthorized physical access. I'm gonna go ahead and set this up. And on the device it's saying, do you really want to enable pin protection? I'm gonna go ahead and click on the green check mark to confirm that's really what I want to do. And now they're showing uh, a keypad that has numbers, but not in the normal order. The numbers are all mixed up. And so I guess I'm just gonna go ahead and start clicking on some numbers. <laughs> Obviously, the more numbers you set as a pin, the more secure it is. And please remember that you have to remember your pin. So again, when I'm confirming my pin for the second time, the numbers are in a different order as well. Now it says it is processing. Success, you have successfully enabled pin protection. Yay, continue. Okay. <laughs> I'm getting excited here, guys. Can you remember? Okay, pin set. Now I've done that. I'm gonna go ahead and continue. So now that we've gotten this far, I'm gonna save this for the next video where I'm gonna go over how to actually interact with your Trezor and the application that you'll be using, uh, the Trezor suite to do so, to store coins here, to send coins and all that fun stuff. It is quite different than Ledger and Ledger Live, so I'm excited to check that out and be able to compare the two, but it's gonna wrap it up for today's video. Thank you everyone for tuning in. I'll be seeing you guys again really soon, but until then, I hope you're staying happy and healthy. I'll see ya.